Thank you for the, taking the time to interview me. I'm going to share a little bit about the Project Welcome Library Serving Refugees and Asylum Seekers Summit. This summit is being held as a one-day public uh, meeting to engage this issue of library serving refugees and asylum seekers. It's part of our Project Welcome grant that we are conducting with the American Library Association. So I'm Clara Chu and I'm the director of the Mortensen Center for International Library Programs. The Mortensen Center has uh, been around and uh, for over 25 years. We were founded in 1991. And the mission of our center is to bring together libraries and librarians to be able to promote international education, understanding, and peace. So as part of that effort where we uh, train librarians, develop programs, and have partnerships, as well as a lecture series to address many of uh, the issues around international libraries, as well as host visitors uh, in our center. Then we decided that uh, with the influx of refugees, how is it that libraries in the United States can best serve them? And so we thought that who would be a better partner than the American Library Association, which has over 60,000 members. And with the American Library Association, we decided that the best approach would be to learn about uh, services to refugees and asylum seekers uh, through an approach where we talk with all the different governmental and non-governmental agencies to understand the issues of resettlement as well as long-term integration and also to bring in the international perspective where we're learning from librarians in other parts of the world that are already providing services to refugees and asylum seekers as well as speak with the librarians here in the United States that are also uh, doing very uh, much similar work and so with that particular context of bringing in library uh, representatives as well as non-library representatives. We want to have a discussion where we learn from each other first through an open uh, public summit where there are opportunities for others to also participate and listen to everything that we are discussing. And also prior to this, we had listening sessions first at the American Library Association Conference in June of 2016. And then uh, subsequently, we were able to interview librarians in different uh, cities, as well as hold listening sessions uh, virtually, as well as Twitter chat. And so through these listening sessions, we were able to gather data that we are looking at in terms of how libraries are serving uh, refugees and asylum seekers, any concerns that they may have, and then also how can we better serve them. So there were the three questions that we were asking. And at the afternoon of the summit, we will be looking at those issues and looking to see what the challenges are, what resources we need, as well as what would be the priorities. And then uh, one other aspect that we also want to be able to explore is how can libraries be welcoming? So if we call this project uh, Project Welcome, then what are those characteristics that make a library uh, a welcoming place? So that's another aspect that we'll be uh, discussing today. And so the second day of uh, this two-day meeting is a conversation that we will have with all the different thought leaders that we have invited to be part of this process. So the thought leaders are the different uh, agencies, uh, governmental as well as non-governmental, and U.S. as well as uh, international librarians. So this group of individuals will have a chance to revisit all that we have been able to learn uh, through, through the listening sessions, through the one-day summit, and then begin to look at uh, priorities, uh, con consider potential action, as well as to talk to each other about gaps, anything that we have missed. Uh, especially from the librarian side, we don't want to just listen to each other, but we want to be able to get a sense of what is it that we might be able to do to enhance our partnerships and enhance our outreach with other uh, refugee resettlement and integration uh, organizations. And so at the end of these two days, then the American Library Association as well as 
the Mortensen Center will be able to come together, discuss all of our findings, and then develop a final report that will include recommendations as well as an action plan. So this action plan, we hope that uh, we will be able to describe what support can be provided through different types of libraries, academic, school, and public libraries, and others, as well as to uh, look at services, research, or training and educational needs that we might uh, uh, identify. So these are the uh, specific areas that we're covering during this planning grant supported by the Institute of Museum and Library Services and we look forward to having a continued rich discussion where libraries continue to serve all individuals in our community and with particular emphasis on those vulnerable communities whether they're refugees or asylum seekers or others that have been underserved. So, as libraries, we are transforming individuals' lives. We can support our communities. And libraries as community anchors, we want to be able to emphasize that we are here and we are welcoming and that our community can come to us because we're here to listen, we're here to address needs and to be able to serve and help transform communities and individual lives. So that's in a nutshell what we're trying to do with Project Welcome.